Hey everybody, it's Adam with ClearCard, and I just want to make a quick video to explain some new automation functionality we have built around merchant category codes. And I thought I'd start by just explaining what a merchant category code is. So any merchant in the world who accepts a card payment on the Visa network, right? So all of our cards are on the Visa network, and any merchant who can accept a Visa card payment gets classified with a code. If you want to Google Visa Merchant Category Codes, there's a, a great PDF online where you can look through the whole list. But basically, it's a, it's a code that we get for every transaction on the merchant trying to charge the card. And what we've built is you can now build rules based on the Merchant Category Code to auto default to your expense account. So as an example, you could put a rule that is a range of merchant category codes for airlines. So I'm looking at all of the, the world's airlines here um, and they all have their own codes. Um, and you could map those to your travel expense account. So you can look through here and see that all the different types of, of, uh, of um, merchant category codes. So things like contractors and heating and plumbing and electrical contractors, they They've got some specificity there. And then in the travel space, airlines, the major airlines all have their own unique code. Hotel chains have their own unique code if they're, if they're significant. The major rental car uh, companies do as well. And so, um, so yeah, so that, that's the objective to just help you um, reduce the amount of manual classification you and your team have to do. You can now map these and then we'll, we'll get smarter on these rules as we go. And so let me show you a couple things. First of all, where do you find the MCCs in ClearCard? Every transaction actually has the code right here. Um, so you can download MCC data in your download if you wanna do some analysis on your most often used ones. But on any transaction, you'll see that we have, um, we have the code information right there. And then um, from within um, your settings, you go into settings. and go to Accounting Automations. And then you see here, I'm in uh, some production, our production account here. We have a few rules already created. So it can be a range or um, specific codes that you wanna map to um, your default expense account. So pretty straightforward. Once you uh, wanna say add a rule, you can give it a name. You could say the travel. Uh, rule and then you want to assign everything to your travel so we've got travel and then you can do specific MCCs or a range so as an example if you want to put in all of those um, airline ranges right so it's 3,000 to I don't know the exact numbers I'm just giving you an example um, you can put that in and then you can add a specific MCC as well um, so individual ones and ranges can be added, and then you add the rule. And then as charges come in, they will automatically be classified um, to the expense account that you've mapped here. Um, and, and hopefully no one has to manually do it then. Thanks. Have a great day.